Blockbuster video and Radio Shack were staples that faded away. And now are gyms next? Well, working out from home became the norm of 2020. Now, even as gyms have reopened, they're seeing significantly fewer people coming in thanks to the uncertainty about the pandemic. A health coach is showing us one way the industry is adapting, and a local woman says working out is helping her through a personal tragedy. Three, two, one, go. Getting physical is a challenge. You definitely need to be ready to work out. But when Teresa Clowater sees something heavy, she lifts it. It kicks your butt. I was hooked after the first time. There we go. Clowder is a member of Quick Hit in Madison. It's not like a typical gym. Instead, members get one-on-one -on -one time with coaches like Devin Peterson and work out on this one machine. The main goal is to build muscle. Once you build the muscle, then the other health benefits start to follow. We'll just do a two-handed row. Peterson let me give it a try. The machine adds resistance and works against you. They're short, grueling workouts that are often just about 25 minutes long. Look, look at my forehead, I'm a little sweaty. Clowder says that does the job for her, and she likes staying in shape, but says her workouts aren't just about her body. It's more of an emotional thing. I lost my mom three years ago, and I've been through ups and downs of really severe depression. Clowder says she was very close with her mom, Patricia. She got a rare brain disease that only five in 100,000 people ever get. Nice job, two more. For a lot of people, physical fitness is a big part of mental wellness. However, statistics show the gym industry post-pandemic isn't bouncing back as quickly as you'd think. It's an always changing field as is, um, but then with everything going on, it's just going to constantly be adapting. According to Bank America, spending on gym memberships is at 67% of the level seen in February 2020. With a boom in fitness apps and personalized at-home programs, Peterson says a lot of people are still working out at home, but expects boutique gyms like Quick Hit to grow in popularity. So I can definitely see it being a bigger part of like the fitness industry going forward. And so there's no interaction with any other clients ever. So there's that there's much less exposure doing this. I shot a couple more. Clowder says no matter what happens with gyms and the pandemic, she'll stick with this type of workout. I know when I come in and he says, hey, how you doing? If I'm having a really crappy day or I got something going on, I can tell him he's always empathetic and he always says, let's go take it out on the machine. And it's perfect. We're trying to overload the muscles. Life is a challenge. And when the weight of the world gets heavy, Clowder says all you can do is work through it and try to lift yourself up. There are days I don't want to do this. There are days I don't want to eat healthy. There are, hell, there are days I don't want to get out of bed. But what's the alternative? You know, I mean, you have to get up. You have to keep going. And you have to keep putting one foot in front of the other one. Well, as the gym industry evolves, fitness experts say these trends are likely to stay here for some time in some way. That includes technology, with you know the apps, the fit watches, at-home workouts, hybrid gym experiences, and short, high-intensity workouts.